Papakilala lang ko. Like, from all the way from Carmen and from Danao City and I'm so traffic. I'm the way so we're able to reach one of a lot of country. Anyway, I'm Geraldine Wadless and uh, I'm act, uh, um, I live in Manila actually, but now I moved after the pandemic and then I was in Cebu. And I just recently um, ha, you know, uh, put up a small uh, hydroponic farm. Mm, so okay. I just started this year, January, and uh, Right now, I have about 700 heads, and I'm trying to expand again. So I'm just making another big one. It's not big one. It's about 3,000 heads. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very new into this. Actually, hands on Jutko. I'm sure of Pormo Pibisaya or Pibisaya Langko. Hands on from, um, but I used to be in uh, in Dubai. I worked with Emirates for, uh, been there for uh, 20 years. And after that, I decided not to go home, I have to go back now uh, there. And um, now I want to be a farmer. And this is really a big, you know, change from a corporate world coming uh, and doing this business. I uh, do doing agriculture, which is I love and that's why I'm so dark now. I'm doing <laughs> everything. I, I don't have any help but it's just me from germination to transplant and everything. So because I really have in this business really have to know not as an owner but uh, I'm just sharing it up that it's better that we know than na mga work for us because at least we can already share to them what our experiences and what are the problems that arises. But anyway, uh, I'm just so happy and I can meet everyone here, which is like, um, I don't know, I didn't know anyone from here, but our Mr. Buddy, that's the only one I've <laughs> first time ever. So, um, that's why I really wanted to come here. So at least it's good, you know, to, um, you need help. One alone, you, you cannot survive. We need a group. We need a, you know, a core group where we have to share. Yeah, um, more heads is better than one, which I believe. So, okay, thank you so much. Available na po ang agribusiness merch sa Shopee. Ang link na sa description box. Mamalengke Online sa onlinepalengke.co Your original, trustworthy online palengke. Ma'am? It's actually si Maan. Oh, okay. Oh, for her, na lang, it's all right now. <laughs> uh, she's a little bit shy. I'm, I'm trying to um, include her here because she has um, uh, she's a farm in Carmen as well. She has about um, a thousand, uh, thousand uh, mango um, oh, trees. Trees, and um, they actually harvest like three ma three times a year. So I said to her, like, you just don't well yeah, by yourself and, and that you need other people to so you can share as well to others who are like um, who wanted to also have like a you know a farm and uh, and about like uh, some mangoes and so at least sha the kind of harvest and you know what to do what not to do it's good but she's a little bit shy <laughs> and I in, in, in fact I encourage her to join so her name is Elsa, Elsa Tuadlis Gore. So from the from the now actually, but now they moved to Carmen because that's where their farm is. So if in case that you need anything about you know mangoes and all, uh, Ika? Yes. Okay. You. You're the same as well with mangoes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, she is knowledgeable about that. Me, I went to hard parties only. <laughs> so whatever you need about that, um, I can say I'm not an expert, but I'm knowledgeable na lang jod kay I really um, I've done so many research, not only from here, YouTube, and seminars, but you know, actual. That's all I can say. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. Actually, I like a good farm. DJ <laughs> <laughs> is my best friend, sister, and tala lang. Ah, uh, pagtawag na ko ganon, di na ko si Boris. Di alin niya kaya na si 
Good afternoon, I'm Mirna Valderama Limbaga. I'm a lawyer by profession and uh, unfortunately not yet a farmer. Okay. Uh, I am part of ASIL, I sit in the board, I'm also part owner and I helped in the creation of this company from the legal side. Uh, we started in 2008 and for the past more than a decade now, the past 14 years, 14 or is it 15? 15 years, um, it has been a struggle for the company to really break the barrier to you know, um, fight against the giants the ones that create this or the manufacture this can uh, uh, non-organic uh, products, uh, inorganic products. So, uh, but despite the challenges, we uh, how do I say this? We persevered because we believed in our cause, and uh, I'm very grateful that I also got to know Chichi. Uh, who invented this product. Uh, she is the mind behind this product. This product has been tested. We spent a lot of money just for the research and the development and studies done um, here and abroad. Um, hopefully with this group, you can also, because according to Buddy earlier, and I think he hit the nail on its head, and also one of the Mr. Marfield, that we should treat the farm as a business. We hope that with that mindset, we can also do business with you. Uh, you can be assured that, this pro that the products of ASIL are certified organic. Um, we hope that with your cooperation, we will be able to break the ceiling, break barriers so that people would really go into organic farming. Thank you. Dito sa Cebu kasi gumawa kami ng series on na uh, about ASIL and uh, biotech worldwide um, corporation. So in the next uh, I think it's starting tomorrow start na yung series and that's seven episodes. So seven days magrarad yung yung episodes natin dito sa Cebu including this this uh, meet and greet. So uh, salamat kay Ma'am Gigi kasi kung hindi sa kanya wala kami dito sa Cebu and wala rin itong meet and greet. So nung nung na confirm na na, na pupunta kami ng Cebu sining na namin Ma'am Gigi pwede mo bang sponsoran yung meet and greet? <laughs> Kaya, yeah, kaya, nagkaroon, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng chance na magkita-kita. So, wala naman talaga tayong program na gagawin kasi ang objective lang talaga ay magkwentuhan lang tayo na magkwentuhan. Diba? We go around to exchange yung ideas. 
But before that, bigyan ko lang ng chance si Ma'am Gigi to explain yung kanilang products. Ma'am Gigi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bats. Thank you. Maayong hapon. Hapon naman. Uh, I think it's about one o'clock pa. Soap na ta? Ang hawa pa nakakaon, ha? By food. Well, anyway, I am so happy to be here. And I take this as an opportunity to thank Sir Bonnie San. Kay wala sa siya. Wa sa mikani nga grupo ba? I am so happy to and pleased to meet and host for this event today. It's our pleasure to host this event for you. Because at any rate, na agi hapon sa mi chance, we have the chance to show you where we are at and what products we have. Because based on what Attorney Mirna said, we had struggles. A Filipino company like us and me as a Cebuana, if I go to the field like the banana plantations in Mindanao, kisa gahi mo ani, taga Cebu, ang wala na yung lami. Kisa gahi mo ani, kana siya, nagkamay ang babae, wala na klaro. I have had several instances where I experienced that. But that was way back, 2008, where our competitors were deep money competitors, such as, we know who. So I have not had the chance where the Latinos of the banana industry in Mindanao would say, nakasuot na tako 200 hectares, antika and all the rest, when they come back from Mexico, they would say, take that product out. Despite the fact that we were at par with an Israeli organically uh, produced chemical or um, in agricultural import. So Pariham is Timorex. I don't know if you have heard of that. Timorex is an Israeli made imported product, which is now currently being used in Mindanao. Pero among antika, Sa una, gipar nila kay ang mga Filipinos po dito na naa sa banana plantation, amigo man ako. Pwede na ko amigo ang mga Mexicano. Kaya itan ako, I mean, you know, uh, babay, tao niya, lahi bita ako, lahi ilang context. So, true enough, I pulled out. Wa na ko ni-appeal sa banana kay di ko ni-appeal sa banana. Di ko ni-appeal sa banana. We pulled out. So, I went to rice. At least mga Filipinos. Unya apil mga derbies, mga derbies all throughout, and we are happy to show you what we have had sa rice. When in fact sa una they were just producing 100 kavans per hectare, karon with our products they produced 158. And I have so many testimonies, um, um, proofs, not just the study of field rice but actual. So, our products good are studied by reputable institutions. Kaya at the time, wala akong good chance. Yung sa mutuo. So, I had reputable institutions such as Phil Rice, Phil Sorin for Sugar King, um, USM, University of Southern Mindanao, um, Gimaras Research Institute for Mango, um, Pibijaya, kaya mga Pibijaya, Filipino, mga, bud, mga exporters dito, they were backing me up, pero di dyan na mukaya ang mga multinationals. But lo and behold, karun, when I was, three years ago, when I was about to sell the entire company, ikaw, balikya ko na lang is Germany, nanilan o German made, basin mahalin pa, kaya wala may mupalit. <laughs> so, along the way, Something helped me not to sell it, but kita na ko, wow, plant, plant, plant na ang programa ni uh, President. Wow, nag-shift na. Department of Agriculture now is mandating for us to use 50-50 balanced fertilization, which means you can use 50 inorganic and 50 dapat organic. So, katong akong trabaho sa una way back, when I was at that time, kana bitaw Sa, um, mama, sa pano, sa una, there's a huge banana plantation in La Frontera. Kabalhabal, we did too. Kaya parang lagi maabot ang among plantation na ito. Uh. And I said, um, wait, Mindanao niya, nabalit ko ba yung Jessica, labad ako ulo, bas kainit, habal-habal. Ano naman yung buslot? Buslot ang yuta. Giingan ko sa pharmacy, ma'am, gibumba mo na dahapon. 
Ang kinuloy. Mawali na ko sa amuha. Huwag maungan ng gaiti akong gatnan, aning akong pagpaningkamot, aning banana. So, well, uh, looking back, I, these were some funny experience, but kaya ko, huwag nagdugay ko, ani. Hello, kasi nabumbahan. <laughs> nabumbahan namin, ani. But now, I am very happy. PPJ ya called and said, G, can you do the presentation again? After eight years. So, I borrowed a company, I said, I'm going to get it. 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 So, anyway, I'm here to actually share with you. First and foremost, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gigi Sanchez. I'm a chemical engineer. I'm not a farmer. But I am a chemical engineer, and I can assure you that each and every product that we make are, is what the question says. So when I say, I'm not a farmer, but I have had several product um, efficacy tests done by reputable institutions. So be that as it may, um, our uh, longevity in the business, we have started the production of probiotics way back 1999. Would anyone know when the Organic Agriculture Act came about? Can I free o sa palitro? Would you know? 2010. But we were already manufacturing probiotic lactoplant, probiotic lactovet, and our probiotic health drink for human consumption, ang lactopathy, 1999. So organic, oh, organic Agriculture Act came about 2010. So maybe that was a decade before. No. From 2010, karun, 2023, another decade. Pero yet, um, by the way, let me share this with you. In 2009, I was awarded by then President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as the first organic fungicide. It was awarded by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and it was also awarded by the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines because I had this registered. So when I'm, uh, I, I'm happy to share this with you. It is Filipino product, it is Cebuano, it's 100% Filipino owned. So at this point, um, I'd like to share the victory to all the Filipinos and to all the Cebuanos. No? But join me in this fight. I'm, I'm advocating not just for me and also for the other Filipino um, manufacturers just like me who are producing organic products. Because our competitor or our, count, uh, I should say our, not enemy, but our the different side of the world. I just say it that way. Lahi, lahi lang context. So, the group kayo sila. So, I'm really trying to come up with a group, a pool of, I don't consider them as competitors, I consider them as friends who are manufacturers just like me. Because we need to pull together to tell the Philippine government that yes, we can counter that 50-50 organic balance fertilization. Because if we cannot prove to the government, chances are they would backslide. And say, allow na lang na to, 70-30 na sad, then who suffers? It's our generation. So I'm here to introduce to you the whole organic farming cycle from land preparation all the way up to um, the biofertilizers, the organic insect control, the organic fungal control, and the post-harvest application. So all our products are non-toxic, safe and environment friendly, and it can even, if, if in the farm, if it is accidentally spilled all over you, or if it is accidentally drunk, you do not have any um, mortality or, you can even drink eight liters of it just like water. Okay, so anyway, um, let me introduce to you all our products. Kanimang um, is a concept that I would um, like to share with you. Amuma sa barangay pagkaon sa kadabalay. And I'm sure I, you can relate to this because our main goal is to produce. Our main goal is for self, um, 
to, to, to produce our own and not to have to rely for important ones. So, um, like I said, the mandate is to use 50-50, 50 inorganic and 50 organic, but we are happy to do 100% organic. But in order to sustain the program, we need organic in, um, agricultural inputs to fight disease. Because chances are, okay, not by fertilizer, pero in need organic fertilizer kay naghimo man ta, di ba? From compost and all. Pero in need kasakit nga na idanga na ay fungal infection, balik na sagtan. So wala na sagtan. Mawa kay, syempre, you have entailed so much effort, so much money, tapos inig yun organic ay yay na, na fungal infection kay sige goan, balik na sagtan. So next is, um, and the other side of it is that there's a worldwide plan to ban synthetic chemicals. So if there's a plan to ban, and then we don't have local producers like us, where will we go? And magira pas Russia, magira pa dito, then imported products could not anymore come in. So if I, 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 I've had this plea to the Department of Agriculture, locally I do it like um, sa kada region, in asking for help because if we don't and we are not um, gonna be down enough size because uh, Sir Kaganina said can you produce enough? Sir, you, you asked me if you have the capacity to do it. I said it's like chicken and egg. Which comes first? The demand or the supply? So I said I said to be inga, kailangan mo no pamitulungan to project because if you don't have, if you implement this now and we are not prepared, we are not prepared to, that program will fail. Okay, so um, when there's a plan to ban, we have be, to be prepared to be able to supply the entire Philippines the much needed agricultural input. So we have five products. The first one, although you most of you are aware of it, we have soil conditioner as vermicompost. What we do, we have tie-ups with other local government units where I teach them. We teach them how to convert their waste uh, to be fed to the vermi. However, they use our enzymes. Our enzymes, and then they feed it to their worms. Then we said, Mayor, if you don't have any market, we will buy all of them back. Kaya nga may mga contracts sa DA. But, Wala mo hindi balik. Sa ito pa, nabalik yan nila. <laughs> Wala mo hindi nga nung chin. Sobra akong supply. Wala man. So I'm happy to note that they're slowly converting it. No, so natay vermicompost. Then natay lactoplant. It's the one categorized as biofertilizer, which is also approved by FPA. We have license for that. And our antika, it's an organic fungicide extracted from papaya. So, say, imnon pa na niyo, papaya, makamaayo sa skin, magwa pa pa ta. Bisan, mabubuan ta. Mawa ang pimples. So, fungal, it's three in one. It's a fungicide, bactericide, and a viricide. Next is an, an icon, is an insect control extracted from neem. So, it's proven to be very effective. Happy kayo ang mga nai army worms, ang mga nai fruit flies, ang mga, happy kayo sila. So, um, next is seaweed extract. It's a seaweed sticker. So all the three liquids, kung mag you have a seaweed sticker to allow the inputs to stick to the leaves and not to have it washed out. So organic yapon kay seaweeds. Okay. So that in itself is the whole organic farming cycle. But I forgot to mention about the post-harvest. So sa manga, for example, the kan man nagmanga, no, Ang sa Japan mang guna sila export requirement that you should not have the chemical residues at the outer part of the mango. So chances are ang buhaton sa mga exporters kay malata na malay abot dito sa ilang destination. They do hot water dip, but that's very critical kay ang hot water makasunog usahay sa outer covering sa mangga. Pero kung positive sa ka for uh, residual ang tibuok ni mong container balik sa Pilipinas. So, dupli, padu, pabalik, ay na lang, ilabay na sa dagat. Ang mahitabo. So, our fungicide, which is extracted from papaya, can actually be used for dipping. You don't need to use hot water. 
dip and then dry pareho sa sagingan uh, dip and then dry and ship ang iyang crown di ba una man na siya mo atake ang fungus sa crown so iyang crown is actually protected sa so from uh, preparation sa land all the way up to post harvest so mo na siya ang guys is being taught how to do it and all that as part of our social uh, corporate responsibility we do that so katuno para to sa mga tanong the next part, ako lang paspasun because you don't have that much time, but feel free to ask us and uh, visit our website. Kaya ang among studies mo rin, anay na give ka bag ka na amin sa Filsorin, kato akong ginamension, post-harvest sa Filsorin, may yung kagsaging, may yung kag tamatis, lettuce, radish, all the rest. Pinakbit o high-valued crops, we, are, um, uh, we have enough proofs for that. So next project is, kato mga tanong to no, kani, is for animal nutrition. So we actually have two products. Um, one is LactoVet. Okay, LactoVet, katong nakita na to kaganina nga, it has the potential to um, have a weight conversion factor. Weight conversion means you need less feed to achieve that weight. So kung harvest ka 90 days, mo harvest na ka uh, uh, harvest so na ni mo imong kuan o sayo sayo kay naigo naman ang iyang kilos naigo naman ang iyang so ang imong gipakaon bili niya mausik pa because of the use of our probiotics ang iyang weight conversion maari gid siya sa muscles dili siya malabay lang or matter into fat so UP Los Banos has proven that it has the best weight conversion efficiency factor so next is Inzuma. It's an enzyme. It's a product of a microorganism nga makawala sa baho in the form. So at the same time, it's non-toxic. Nising maligo pa ng imong baboy, imong manlog din ha, dili siya makadaon. So these two works in tandem all together. The reason also why I'd like to emphasize this, that there's a threat to ASF. I'm not saying uh, kung nag-ASF na rin mo pa, imbo ni mong lakto pa, lak Lactovet mabuhi ang baboy. It's not, that's not the point. The point there is gikan pa sa gamay, gamay pa unta siya. Kung naprotectan na siya with so much microorganism, good microorganism, chances are miskipag na siya a threat to ASF. Dili siya manila. At the same time, if consistent said ka, I understand that ASF is carried by food traffic. Kanang mga maglakaw-lakaw ka di hanyang at abot-abot niyo dito. But if your area is also um, protected by an enzyme, katong iyang magkuanda, minus ang chances, or if not, weaker na ang type of virus na makaadto sa inyong mga hayo. So, um, the idea here is no one, no, oh, there's food in every home, and no one goes hungry. Next, the third program is that we are to provide and teach the farmers to produce compost from biodegradable waste. So, muna to sa atong organic farming cycle, sunod sa livestock, and the third is, what do we do with the banana peels, the fruit peels, the mga malata? So, we have the enzymes. Um, I have no problem with the DA teaching us to make our own enzymes. That is not an issue. However, it should be done in a controlled environment. Mawarag yun na ako. Kinanglan ang mutubo din ha, maoy imong gipatubo. Because if you look at water, water can even contain salmonella and E. coli. You do not see it. Pareho, maabot ang ilan nag mamulasas niya, mauna na. Pag mix-mix nito sa parang may mamix siya, mahimo siya iyang own enzyme, kaya iyan naging imo on the compost. No problem. But it has to be in a controlled temperature na ang kaning mutubo ani maog yun. Diba sigla, it's so nice ang mutubo niya. <laughs> or pag pagkatug niya pagkagabi ni agi ang langgam na kaiti dito sa iyang hini mo chances are it's contaminated not contaminated mo na mangisug yun kung ano yung kikag organic mayon sila bati kaya katung gibuhat dili man ma o oh, osahay mo na ilig spray dito sa maging akong kuan eh, dili man ni ma o oh. so mubalik na sa just chemical iyan eh, asang sprayhan nuglain para maulian no but at, actually um, should be done right. I have nothing against producing it. That's why I help Mangani teach them how to make 
uh, na paparasakto siya pag kami ipangin. Di ba may kahimu sa tanang tibok Pilipinas na requirement? So, uh, my advocacy, also of that of my late father, my father is the late Vice Governor Gregorio Sanchez. Um, she, he died uh, 2011 during his incompetency. Mutong pag-ingon sa Tagatulay. Uy, akong board member dara. I was board member in the third district some time ago. So aside from that, I have no ano na for politics. I'm more comfortable with what I do best. Okay, before I joined politics, I was already a chemical engineer, and this is my the love of my life. So okay, and and Zumo is an enzyme. It's a decomposer. At the same time, it's an odor control, and it is um it, it is safe, environment friendly. So, puro buyag, may iyong kaga. Pila naman ka buok na gamit sa inyong produkto, medyo ubay-ubay na yun. From Luzon, Visayas, at Manila. Raffle na lang po kasi, ito lang yung kinaya ng aming doggy. She's going to sing. Okay. So, first po na nanalo ng uh, Acker Business T-shirt is Romel Alcantara. Ay, Sir Romel. Sila Sir. White. Feel again, sir. Yes, pa. Salamat po sa lahat. Uh, meron pa po tayong oras. Pwede po tayong mapagkwentuhan sa lahat. Thank you. Ah, sige. Um, pwede, pwede po bang mag-group photo muna tayo bago... Uh, Nagdi-develop na kaya? Develop pa. Uh, develop, develop stage pa rin. Uh, anong fruits yung inanayo? Tinanim uh, Meron. I'll invite you next time. Sige, sige, sir, sige, sir, please. I'm going to go Is it open na for public? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Sir. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Ano po yung ano, farm niyo? 
Well, well, pa nagsis, magsisimula pala ako kasi kare, nag-retire lang ako mula pa employment mo. Mm. Employment kayo. Kaya naging attracted ako dito sa mm. itong sa farming. Ang, uh, meron kasi akong maliit ang lupa doon sa, mm. sa amin. So, ito, maganda ito. Maganda. I'm interested into yung sirabi ko na, na yung bamboo, giant bamboo, mm-hmm. agarwood. Ito naman ay maganda ito. Mm-hmm. Kasi we have to be self-sustaining. Mm-hmm. Meron tayong own products. Mahal ang mga mm-hmm. produkto sa market. Eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kaya gusto kong simulan ito. Ito yung parang backyard farming. Ng, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. Before testing sa ano. Sa, yeah, uh, so, Thank you, sir. Uh-uh. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Apo, apo, apo. Ano, sir? Madami ka ng branches? Actually, sir, ano, madami na ito ang mga partners. Uh, sa akin kasi, uh, style iba. Mm-hmm. Diba, pag franchise, maybe magbabayad sila. Sa atin, ano lang, partnership tawag sa akin. Ah. Meron tayo sa Luzon, mga, siguro more than, baka abot na tayo more than 50. Sa Luzon? Uh, lahat, uh, nationwide. Ah, nationwide. Pero sa akin, oh. kasi, Uh, nagpa-partner ako pero pag once partner na tayo pangalan nila pag nagamit ano pangalan nila tapos na outlet ko lang is anim tapos pag partner tayo i-build natin yung pangalan nyo sarili nilang sarili nilang pangalan brand yeah using our uh, chicken yeah Kasi ah, ang ganun yung ano? Yung ang sistema. Mas madali. Para yung ano natin sa libre, yung technology natin, tinuturo natin sa mga mm-hmm. partners. Hindi mm-hmm. na kailangan na maghintay pa sa supply galing sa akin. Mm-hmm. Turo ko lahat, tapos yung timpla lang yung hold ko balik. Papadalahan ko lang silang timpla. Like sa Luzon, ah, na, kapatid doon. Pero yung chicken kanila na? Sila na maghanap. Ah, Turuan ko rin sila. Yung timpla lang. Oh, timpla lang. Mm-hmm. Faster yun. Yeah, pinakamadali. Pinakamadali. Mas madali yung mga pagkuha na. Mas ayo pati yung mga mga ano mga partners mas nagustuhan nila kasi franchise na kamahal. Eh. Mm-hmm. Half million 350,000. Sa atin is 90k lang mayroon sila mga gamit. Open na sila. Oo, turuan ko sila lahat tapos sila na bahala sa mga komisaryo nila. Mm-hmm. Assist na ako baka support na ako. Ah, oh, dali. Mm-hmm. Ano na isip yun? Dito lang sa ano sir sa nang nagka-pandemic. Naka- Kasi gusto ko sana magpa-franchise. Oo. Kaso lang, di ba, malaking gasto siya. Pag mag-franchise ako, kailangan ko malaking malaking yung mga warehouses. Mm. Uh, yung ano, yung logistics. So, napakarami. Maraming, maraming tao i-hire natin. Ito, mm. instead na gagawa mo niyan, transfer ko lahat yung ano ko, yung system ko. Tuturo ko sa kanila. So, lahat mga partners, mayroon silang sariling mga logistics, mayroon silang sariling mga uh, komisari, na mga maliliit, for their own uh, stores lang. Dito meron na tayong mga partners sa taglima, apat na partners, uh, apat na outlet. Yung at least manageable lang sa kanila. Mm-hmm. Kasi sa pag-franchise, napakarami, imanis natin. Uh-huh. Marami din mga food downs. Lalo na pag-alit natin mga mm-hmm. ito sa akin style. At least mag-manage ka ng sarili mong lima, apat. Eh, kahit basta makaya pa. Paano yung quality ng chicken? Mag-iba iba. Ah, hindi naman sir, kasi yung ano natin is yung panglasa lang naman yung pinano natin. Sariling pangalan naman nila, so sila nang bahala sa palipan. Sa, ano nila. Uh, at least, mas cheaper. Karamihan mga partner natin is OFW. OFW. Mas, ano. Sayang. Eh, ikaw nang message sir, no? Nampuntahan yes, kita, no? Okay. <laughs> uh, Kailan mo kayo uli? Anong oras? Ngayon kami bukas, oras? eh. Anong oras? Uh, Sophia, anong oras yung flight natin? 10 a.m. So, mga 7, pupunta na kami airport. Hindi na ito kaabot eh. Kasi, madalasan <laughs> na kita ng ano eh, Lichon Bailey, yung product ko. Kasi lang, i-prepare kasi tonight. yung mga. <laughs> May lakad ka. May lakad ka rin. <laughs> <laughs> sige, next time na lang sir. Next time, basically. Oh. Baka rin nakapunta din ako ng Manila. Oh, sige sir. Actually, it's more on helping talaga sa akin. Tumutulong lang talaga tayo para magkaroon ng mga negosyo yung mga walang alam sa business. Mm-hmm. Itong business ko na maliit, sinishare ko sa kanila mm-hmm. para naman magkaroon din sila ng negosyo. Kasi ang dami tayong mga OFW na may pera sila. Pero di nila alam kung anong gawin, anong negosyo yung pasukan. Ito sa atin is very affordable. Kaya mas maraming naingan yung mag- 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 mag-partner sa atin. Mm-hmm. Di ba, sir? Uh, gagawa ulit ako ng another Cebu. I-inline ka ta doon. Sige, sige, sige. 
Ano lang yung set ito na po kasi basta baka ano, sa sunod na ano na sir Bali. Kasi yung ano ko dito is mga tulong lang. Oo. Kasi marami. Kasi marami talagang nangangailangan ng ano sir. Hanap buhay. Hanap buhay. Oo. Lalo na mga WD. Talagang hindi nila alam kung saan. Kung ano talaga ang ganda po kasi. Ito sa akin is Not necessarily itong negosyo na ito, at least man lang na negosyo na para na kikita yung ilang hard earned money ba. At least kapunta doon sa may... Malapit yung ano mo dito sir? Medyo malayo, kaya nandalit ako. Ah, saan? Doon sa north, Luluan. Ah, doon pa? Outside pa? Outside the city pa? Mga ano, mga 35 to 40 kilometers. Halos yung mga bata ko, mga yung masawa ko. Patulog ka na, buro ka lang. Nagpupuyat ka? Kasi halos hinintay ko lang, baka minsan mahuli ako 45 minutes na, minsan nag-upload ka na mga days later lang, di ba? Nag-upload ka sa sabari. Mga bata, punta kayo, sama kayo sa akin. Ayaw ko, baka pa, salitain nyo kami doon. Dito nga nag-chat, oh, nagkita na kayo ng anong idol mo. Sabi. Ano yung mga GC, nauna ako. Ano sir, yung ano po talaga, yung mga, yung kita ko sa business ko is napunta rin doon sa ano, yung, sa farming. Kasi tingin ko naman is farming, agriculture is the future. Mm-hmm. Doon talaga yung ano, hindi pa talaga ngayon, pero later on, ma-realize na matao na ito doon ang kaipodante yung agriculture. Mm-hmm. So yung company owned mo talaga 50 branches ha? No, sarili ko lang sir is 6 outlets. 6 stores lang ako. Pero uh, lahat ng partners natin, makaabot na tayo ng 50. Nationwide. Meron na dyan sa Luzon. Paano pinapadala yun? Yung Meron na akong established na logistics doon sa kapatid ko sa Manila, Valenzuela. Pinapadala ko doon. Yun sa Mindanao, meron din sa Sumbuanga. Sa Davao, last, last week doon ako galing kasi nag-established doon tayo doon. Mabilis na eh. Mabilis na yun. Galing? Mas, ito pas... Kayo, ilay mo pala ang Don Ricardo rin? Oo, ayun sir. Ano kasi sir, yung ano po is background ko is... May ano ka rin, may lechong deli ka rin, bukod doon sa chicken. Ayan po sa'yo. Kala ko baka later afternoon pa tomorrow. Kasi morning kasi ni-prepare. Oo. Then kayo na din naabutin. Oo. Sige lang, punta ko kita tayo doon sa mga. Kaya lang mas manila rin. Mag-addo ka sa Lawi sir, ina ko ha. At least mapansan na ito yung muhang property dito ba? Magkasing dabi lang kami ng... Bayan sa o barangay, o yung yung property na kwan niya don. Dito na kung mandas. Labi ko na tutunan sa ano? Sa o grabe inspire talaga yung mga content na sir. O kaya lang po kaya. Lakto bet ha tam tama sa ano to sa babui. Thank you an layo pa naman binahin yun. Next time, ano, di kayo puntaan ko. Sana, sana. Actually, sa lakuan, gusto talaga namin. Mahihiya kami sa si Camila. Pangarap namin siya na mag-feature someday sa amin. Oo. Babalik ako ng sigur. Sa para lang din compilation sa yung mga ginagawa niya sa Mabuyan. Nakala ko madali lang. Pero ano mo ba yung nagturo ako ng train ng vlogging? Nanood yun. Hindi nakala ko. Pag simula ko, madali lang to. Nung inumpensahan ko lang. Ang hirap talaga. Huwag ka na mag-edit. Diretso na. Diretso na. Diretso na. Mabilisan. Yung talaga yun lang. Pagod talaga yung mag-edit. Sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Idol ka na ng lahat ng mga taga ano. Mga taga subo. Bali kami lang dalawang naging representative ngayon. Uh, marami uh, kayo doon na nag Marami kami, so, marami kami nang small at saka yung maliliit sa kamay nag- Talaga? Backyard, backyard tapos kami nag nag ano kami nag uh, we are into business na on how to oh, eh, make a farm. Parang si ano, parang, parang si Katanim. Si at uh, saka si Jules. Si Jules. Oh, kami kami naman dito <laughs> sa Cebu. Kami rin po pag napunta po dito si Katanim, uh, kami rin po yung magkakasama. Kaya rin ano. Ah, okay. 
Nagahaping po ng ibang mga hydroponic farm nga. Kami-kami rin po magkakasama. Ah, okay. Ah, baka ano, baka bumalik ako ng Cebu. Magpa-sponsor ako kay Hydro, kay Nutri-Hydro. <laughs> yun, pwede, pwede yun, pwede yun. Magpa-sponsor na kay Nutri-Hydro, balik tayo na. Kasi maraming user dito na ano, ng, ng, ng mga, na, na, maraming growers dito talaga. Maraming growers. In fact, mm, nag expand kulang kasi. Kulang yung ano. Yung kanina nga, galing ako ng Lapu-Lapu. Yung, yung, ano yun, yung, yung parang ano sa Lapu-Lapu, yung, uh, foreign company tapos malaking lupa tapos gusto niya mag ano magkaroon ng hydroponic so mm. we are on negotiation pa nice big contract na yun sana <laughs> malaki talaga yung market malaki malaki malaki, malaki. malaki yung market sa litos kasi ang litos dito is from Mantalohon and from here lang kaya lang pag tagulan wala na sila patay na sila eh. so yung nagiging market namin uh, do- doon umuusbong yun yung price mm-hmm. so Difference kasi yung NFT at y- yung sa hydroponics at saka yung sa lupa. Oo. Malaki talaga ang kaibahan. Uh-oh. So pag wala sila, mayroon kami palagi. So kaya lang mas mahal yung sa inyo. Sa, mas mahal sa amin. Ah, uh, kasi mas mahal konti pero pero okay naman. Kulang kasi yung ng supply ko lang ng supply dito sa Cebu. Saka may mga buyer din po kasi na mas pinipefer yung hydroponics kasi nga hindi nag-a-apply ng pesticide, uh-huh. naka-closed environment siya, uh-huh. mas, mas assured sila na malinis, ganun. Kaya ma- ma- may edge pa rin po talaga sa market kahit pa paano. Yung mga health conscious, yung mga uh-huh. ganun, may ano pa rin. Mas, mas okay pag, pag, pag effective to na organic kasi importante talaga wala kaming spray. Pero feeling ko kahit organic, kailangan mo talagang... Mag, ano, mag-clean. Yes, may, may, may system maintenance. Uh-huh. At our own schedule. Pero yung nangyayari, schedule ng, ano, ng, 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 ng insects. Kung kailan may insects, <laughs> yun ka, doon ka, nag, di ba? Doon ka nag, uh-huh. nag-clean. Uh-huh. So, sila ang nasusunod. Yung uh-huh. gusto namin, yung kami yung nasusunod. So, pag may, may clean up, talaga, oh, clean up tayo dito. Parang yung isang part lang, one-fourth of the, of the whole area. Kasi pag may insect, pag may mga trips or pang fungi lahat talaga yan eh dapat pala iba-ibang greenhouse ka yun. para nat- natapos to I- I- hindi I- I- affected tong yeah, isa iba-ibang farm kasi pag the same the same area location lilipat lang yes lilipat lang kasi nasa hangin minsan eh minsan nadadala nadadala rin nung nadadala bibili. nadadala ah, ng mismong farmer oh, oh. pag lumalabas sir so it's really a pleasure to meet you in person <laughs> thank you sir thank you sir ay, hopefully, mayroong na ganito na ano, sir. Ang daming networking na... Oo, oo, oo. So, I was And really happy na... That's also um, part of my, ano rin, na i-gather para... May, mag- mayroon na akong uh, consultant, uh, expert. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> expert. <laughs> kasi sa, sa farming, beginner kasi ako, sir. Uh, uh, one year pa. Uh, nag-retired kasi ako early. Uh-huh. I went to farming. Uh-huh. Inspired by agribusiness. Uh-huh. Hey, sir, uh, may, tanong, may tanong lang sila yung how to use the how to use the inputs para sa kanilang hydroponics. <laughs> Marami kayong nakilala, sir. Oh, meron. Marami na akong number, sir. Eh. Kaya kinukuha ko yung mga number sa kanilang baka sakaling at tapos meron na akong schedule na pupunta uh, to learn from the experience Uh-oh. also Uh-oh. so this is really I really appreciate this video sa so, kaya naisip ko yun, nung nagpost kayo so, punta ako punta ako buti na lang nagconfirm <laughs> thank you sir for the opportunity thank you sir thank you ang amuan na tirada diretso ka dito sa yung gamot ba yung punuan din niya di ba ang gamot Pero liburyo, liburyos kayo, for example, na 10,000 yun, kabuang ka. Sa na lang ka. Sa tubig na lang. So mas maa matistingan ba? Sa tubig, ilan man mo pilang kagibig meter? Mga andra. Pilang number of liters. Yes. So na formula? Na formula. Pilay pilang ka ML, isagol per liter. Okay. Kay para? Lakto plan, impiki na mo na 5 to 6. Hindi mo siya na-remedy if matry good niya, effective siya, at least mo. Wala pa nag-try, wala pa nag-try siya mo. Alisa ba kayo? Yes. So, di ba kita mo nakakausap masyado, sir? Ano yung farm mo? Oh, I'm planning to put, ano, the, yung 
uh, agri tourism business agri tourism so, yeah. Yeah. so uh, planning to put the ano uh, yung hydroponics or any any yung fruits or mm. vegetables that mm. they can pick and they can you yeah. know they can maybe they can cook in there mm. on the label and mm. that's it and then we're gonna have uh, ano, a cottage a restaurant maybe yeah oh so that's that's my my, my plan so and there's plenty of anyway um, my, my my uncle has still uh, yung 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 rice field so mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna mm. test it there also the the mom Gigi's product uh, uh-huh. So, Sir, na meet mo ba yung sila? They're into hydroponic. Yeah, yeah I, I'm gonna talk to them also and get, oh. get, get the, their details so I can uh, get them. So, Good. sila ngayon, lumalak na sila. Uh, I think na nagko-consultant sila rin sila in constructing ano. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, startup sa, ano, uh, sa hydroponics. That's good. Uh, so, yung, also, the, ano, yung, yung mga free-range chicken, yung uh, lalak mo, you know, you could pick if you want to have it cook get one chicken <laughs> yung lugar nyo ba uh, maraming tourist actually it's it's very near uh, uh, in, in the ano um, uh, the barangay there's uh, ano there's plenty of people so it's not really the you know it's not really that far away uh, from the city so that, that's my goal at least they could go there in the restaurant so there's plenty of stuff to do pa. so planning stage still got the gatherings uh, my infos oh, pero right now anong anong ginagawa mo uh, we're still making the ano guest house and also the ano um we still have to put some yung mga bamboo cottages no. oh, yung, yung, pero yung profession mo i'm actually graphic artist oh, oh then, okay. then i opened up uh, no um small calendaria a restaurant uh, and then uh, for 8 years and then the Con- contract and that before pandemic so I had to close it down mm-hmm. and this is another venture so, uh, so I have partner partners with, with this one so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the hands-on on the uh, for the farm fine arts come fine arts fine arts so <laughs> yeah sir fine arts yeah. fine arts uh. oh, really? <laughs> fine arts I, I've been doing I don't know graphic design for uh, 16 years wow. and I had I had to change profession <laughs> I wanted to get out of the chair. Yeah. So, laging nakaupo. Oh. So, uh, ano eh, artists have different time. Yeah. You, you usually work at, ano, um, morning and, you know, mm. you don't have enough, enough time. You have to rest your ano, brain before you jump into uh, designing again. Minsan so, kailangan mong kunin yung momentum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you get, you know, you, you black out, there's no yeah. coming out, so you have to, so, at I'm into farming na lang so let's let's see what happens. Mom, hindi pa kita nakakausap. Hello, <laughs> hello. Ah, <laughs> so, so, matagal na kayo na nang agree. Actually, nakapanood ako because um before pa nasa sa Dubai pa ako doon. Mm-hmm. Na, napapanood na namin. Ah. So actually, one of my um uh yung best friend ko, actually we have also a cooperative but we're into uh, Agarwood. Ooh. So we are actually suppo- she's supposed to be here, but um she went back to ano to Palumpon and she actually she engaged with you already and I told her na po, uh, you'll be here in the uh, Cebu but she left kasi going to Palumpon because that's where our uh, cooperative farm is so it's for the OFW oh, wow. it is like a retirement you know of OFW so in fact he, he uh, she really wants to to meet you. And she called me up actually, but she cannot come because it's difficult because of the engagement. Because it's kagabag alis lang nila, mas mahirap pa bumalik alit nito. But anyway, I'm here because she also the one. She was the one who told me about you then. So now I'm so happy na I'm at body. You know, um, the only thing lang happy because I'm even though I'm from Manila, but I'm uh, a Cebuano at heart now. Cebuano is my both parents. And that's why I'm here. And then I set up my hydroponics. Yeah. Uh, Namit mo sila yung grupo ng mga hydroponics. Agree really now. Kaya <laughs> lang kami. Uh, we just met uh, met now and um, I'd actually mag-engage na after this. And so okay. thankful with this meet and greet of you, buddy, that we met a lot of um, you know mga mm. farmers enthusiasts mm-hmm. at the same time now. You know, also uh, this. Um, 
uh, you know, a local, uh, you call it uh, organic, yeah. organic um, inputs. Inputs. Yeah. So I actually, I because I need to try Be- yeah. before you know you can encourage others try it yourself. So that's what I did, and I'm so thankful that uh, you know you collaborated with them, uh-uh. and uh, at least it's a very big help for us. Mm-hmm. So I'm really uh, thankful. That you're here, I'm welcoming you in Cebu. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested uh, to to create story about the agar wood. Pwede ba? Oh, okay. With agar wood, kasi uh, the, you know the byproduct of this. Mm. It's um, you know this wood. Yes. It's wood. It's um, because it, I came from Dubai, mm. so we know the Arabic use that one for you know incense, yeah, incense. for like um, even. Their perfumes, uh-huh. and it's also the basic, um, talagang ano ng ingredient ng mm. ng perfumes. So now we have a lot, uh, we have a lot of agarwood in the Philippines, different uh, species, species, but uh, no one knows how to extract. inoculate. Oh, uh, because this one, it's a ten year, ten ten years kasi pa di harvest. It's uh, liquid gold, that's what they say. Mm. But uh, the thing is, ginagawa lang natin yun po incense sa ating yung sa simbahan, mm. yung mga pag na, na ano ka yung mga masakit si pambabang mo sa bahay mm. para normal sa ano lang talaga yan sa sa simbahan or whatever mm. but sa abroad it's very expensive imagine mm. per grams mm. like 500 dirham so mm. times 12 so mm. it's really expensive mm. so now our uh, Ati Warpi who's the founder of the cooperative in, um, he uh, she actually donated one hectare of her land mm. for us OFW mm. so pag 10 years mo uh, pero kami we have to pay kasi mahal yung yung ano yung pagtatay ang seedling along is about 1006 so sa dami we are uh, planning to plant 1000 mm. but we still have one 150 pa lang ang napaplant yata. So later on, you know, you imagine it's million. One tree, that's what they said, uh, magiging four million or more wow. for one tree. So, yun ang, uh, how you call that, yung ano mo pa lang, uh, prospect Potential. na amount uh-huh. na it will be kung fully inoculated din kasi that one wala tayong expert na to do that uh-huh. it will all come out pa from Vietnam from uh, Indonesia mm. where in in 3 years they will inject na virus sa tree kaya magiitim siya yeah. so it depends kung maganda yung output mas maganda naman yung Sell. But this uh, one, kasi, mind you, it's not everyone cannot do that. Uh, it has been l- regulated. That's why I'm encouraging na at least uh, I it open up to you. Kasi my, maybe some people will also like uh, trying, will be inspired. Uh, uh, Marami silang land, wala silang hindi na lang kanong ipa nila. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. other wood is also, uh, of course, is a, a good part. But the thing is, don't be fooled by those who are selling online yes. because it's very expensive it's a reputable source and uh, you have to ask the DNR first if it's really a uh, department of agraria uh, in DA department. agriculture ah. uh, agriculture sa lugar nyo and cooperated with uh, DNR and mm-hmm. maraming agencies kasi before before na maano kasi it's really like uh, hindi yan normal alietos lang yes, so yes, yes, agarwood yes. is something uh, so we our uh, our group the OFW uh, cooperative that we we just we just had the certificate uh, when was March or mm-hmm. April mm-hmm. it's really for the retirement, our founder, Mr. Warpis Martinez, um, uh, ha, is really, you know, in he, he, her heart is putting uh, everything for the the benefit of the OFW. So, buds, pa ano mo lang sa mga sa OFW merong pag-asa. Yes. Hindi lang tayo nag nagaantay ng pag-uwi natin wala. Merong merong light sa uh, sa Agarwood. Yeah. So, mama, okay. puntahan natin. Ha? Of course, you can visit sa Palumpon. It's in Palumpon, Palumpon uh, Leyte. Leyte. Sa pa, sa pa na. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.
<laughs> Available na po ang Agribusiness Merch sa Shopee. Ang link na sa description box. Mamalengke Online sa onlinepalengke.com Your original, trustworthy online palengke. Agribusiness How It Works. Instruct, Inspire, Succeed.